I don't think they're going to be dictated by public opinion on it, Sal. The, the thing that stands out to me is that Steve Cohen, at his introductory press conference, said that he doesn't want other people learning on his dime. There's only one guy in that group who has major league managing experience, and he has a plethora of it, and that's Buck Showalter. Uh, and I, I have a feeling that also that Steve Cohen is the kind of guy who he has he has the knack for understanding celebrity in this town, right? So Buck Showalter will be the bang for the buck candidate the higher here I don't think that they'll they'll do it because you know everybody's expecting them to but I think that his background Buck's background his resume and the fact that he would get the biggest charge would be the reasons to hire him uh, you know, he's been there done that kind of a guy um, you know that's not to say that there wouldn't be expectations of course there are there are always expectations in New York and you know with the team that they seem to be building and some of the momentum that they had going before this lockout clearly a lot of people are going to be expecting this team to win so it makes sense that there will be pressure I think when you look at this when you get a guy you know as experienced as Buck Showalter I don't think that plays in especially because when you surround yourself when the season starts to get going or even before so in spring training you have all these talks with you know lots of people you're collaborating um, you know even the team itself as a player you don't necessarily feel that pressure let's welcome in Terry Collins Terry you're obviously somebody who went through this before how will these second interviews for the final three be different than the first round of interviews via zoom well, you know, the first one, you, you pretty much introduce yourself to people who don't know you. I mean, you know, whether it be it the general manager or the scouting director or the player development guys. The second one, you're going to be, you're going to get peppered with a lot of questions. Uh, those are, there's going to be a, a lot more people in the room that have a lot more ideas or a lot more things they want answered. Uh, you know, even Steve Cohen, he's going to want to know some things. But, you know, Buck's been through a number of these. Won't phase him a bit. The other guys, I know Joey Espot has been through a number of interviews. Uh, so, you know, the second second one is where, hey, look, what kind of a guy is this? And does he fit uh, uh, what we're looking for in a manager? What specifically what are we looking at here? I mean, is it about players? Is it, uh, you know, about your philosophies? What specific questions in round two were different than round one? Well, again, they're going to ask you all about you're going to they're going to ask you about your rules. They're going to ask you about coaches. You know, who, who do you have in mind for coaches? They're going to ask you about your philosophy. Uh, they're going to they're going to want to know, and, and certainly in today's game, hey, you know, what's your uh, go-to analytics? What you know, what what don't you like about it? Uh, how would you relate to the front office walking in your in your locker room? Uh, there's a lot of places where general managers don't go in the locker room. There's some where the general managers in there all the time. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about the the owner, the ownership in the clubhouse? Uh, those are different questions that you know. Uh, some places the ownership's you know very visible, and other places it's not. And I think uh, right now in New York, they're going to want to know the answers to some of those questions.